Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on today's video, I decided to show you guys the Amazon Echo Show 5. Now, I know this has been out for a while, but the reason I want to show it to you guys is because it's one of the most popular Amazon units with a screen for the main reason is that it has a lower price point and it has all the same functionality of the larger ones. Now, they do make an 8 inch model. Also, they make a 10 inch model with an articulating screen so the whole unit moves and follow you as you're making video calls similar to the Facebook portal where the camera moves around. But anyway, in today's video, we're gonna take a look how to set it up. Also, I'm gonna show you guys a whole slew of commands at the end of it. And additional to that, we're gonna do some sound tests and more. So sit back and relax, let's get started. So when you buy Echo Show, it's gonna come with your main unit. It also comes with a power brick. And there's also some uh, cards in there to show you guys some commands to do it once you get all, everything set up. But the biggest thing about the show is that it has a screen on it, so that's gonna allow you to see all the commands that you give versus just give it to it and uh, get a response back. You also can use this with the Ring doorbell and you can do video calls with it. And I'll show you guys an example in the video here. But I wanna show you guys a little bit closer look at this. So I have my overhead camera here. And uh, it's the first time I really show this on camera, but this is what it looks like. And what we're gonna do is just take a closer look at the unit. So here we have the Show 5. On the top of it, you're gonna have a mute button for your microphone, just in case you want a little more security. There's also two mics right there. You got your volume up and down. And this little button right here is so you can pretty much turn off the camera whenever you want to. Now on the back of it, there's a input for your power. There's also a uh, USB input for service, like a service port. And then there's an output that you can run over to a stereo or additional speaker. Now they also have this little rubber piece here on the bottom of it. And the great thing is that they do make a base for it. It retails around $20 and that's gonna allow you to kind of raise it up to the table a little bit. And right here is the vent for the speaker, as you can see there. So here's the specs on the Amazon Echo Show 5. The biggest thing about it is that it has a one megapixel camera. Also it has one four watt speaker and I'll let you guys hear a up close demo on that. And the screen resolution is 960 by 480. So it's not a complete high definition screen, but it actually looks pretty good when you see it here live. Also it does support Bluetooth 4.2 for connecting it to other devices or using it as a Bluetooth speaker. Now the one I'm showing you guys today is the charcoal color, but they also make it in sandstone if you prefer something that's a little bit more brighter and easier to see. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up from the point you take it out of the box and we'll briefly go over some of the configuration you can do from the application. All right, to use this Alexa unit, you need to make sure you have Wi-Fi access. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing you wanna do is choose your device language and you can see there's a list of different languages in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose English. Hello. Ready for setup. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and find your Wi-Fi from this list. Once you press on it, go ahead and enter your Wi-Fi password. And then you want to go ahead and press connect. Now, if you don't have a new account, you'll have to go to amazon.com. But since I have an account, I'm going to go ahead and put in my credentials and sign in. Now it's going to register your device on your Amazon Alexa application so you can go ahead and modify it later on from that app. And it's going to go ahead and sign everything in so it has access to everything. So as you can see, it pulled up my name. I can go and press continue. Now enter your time zone. In my case, it's North America. And since I'm in San Diego and close to Los Angeles, I can go ahead and press continue. Now make sure you go ahead and enter your address and everything so you can get local search results. Now choose a location where your Echo will be placed. In this case, I made one called Studio. And uh, you can also change the name here if you need to. I'll leave it the same. And then press continue. On this screen, you can go ahead and set up your wallpaper for your clock. You can do your floral. If you have pictures in Amazon Photo, you can use that. Seasonal, nature, travel and art. Let's go ahead and just use seasonal and then press continue. Now it's gonna check for updates, which I've done before. And you can also do parental control by saying if it's a dedicated device for children, I'm gonna go ahead and press no. You can also choose if you want to set up Amazon Sidewalk where it uses your Wi-Fi and your neighbor's Wi-Fi to create this coverage, but not right now. I'm going to hit later. And then there's a video that kind of walk you through the features. After you play the video, you get this option to use Amazon Music. 
Now you do get a free version from Prime, but if you want the full version, then you can pay $3.99 a month. I'm gonna go ahead and hit no thanks. You can also sign up for Audibles if you like. Now here's the main screen. You have a few controls. You can just drag your finger down and you can go to your home screen, change the brightness, put in do not disturb, or you can go here to the settings. Inside of the settings, you can connect Bluetooth device, change your network. You have your clock home, display sounds, and you can see there's a lot of options down here that you can do right here from the front screen. Now if we go back and slide over this way, then this is a little center where you can do communication. You can also look at your smart home devices, like if you have lights connected to it, you can play music videos, and you can review your routines and your alarms. Now if you slide over here, this gives you just a few things you can try out if you wanna to get to know your Echo unit a little bit more. Now let's take a look at the application. Now if you don't have the Amazon Alexa app, just go to the App Store and download it and uh, go ahead and click on it. Next thing you wanna do is uh, go here to more, then go to settings. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on device settings. Now you can see here I have a list of them, but the one we wanna focus on is the Echo Show 5. Go ahead and press on it. And these are all the controls you have in there. You can do your audio settings, kinda like I'll show you a little bit later. Down here you can change the sounds of your alarms, incoming ringers, requests. Also you can use it as a sound detecting device if you wanna use it as a, like an alarm system. And there's a whole list of things you can do, like you can set up free time for your children so you can choose when they can have control of it or not. Do not disturb communication and communication is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys how to use it as a uh, video calling device. Also down here you have location, time zone. You can also change your wake word. On my last video I show you guys how to use the Hey Samuel mode which is pretty cool. And then if you go down to this list you can also change your home screen background and that's the display right here. And you can also factor reset it right here from the application. Another thing I'll show you guys is that I have this phone set up as Alexa device. All you need to do is just have the application set up and you just go through the tutorial and it makes your phone like an Alexa device. So next I'm gonna show you guys how to make a video call from your Alexa device over to a smart device. Now the way I'm gonna do this is that I made this phone part of my Alexa home group. So if anyone calls this, then it will ring all my Alexa units. So this phone is set up that way. Now if you wanna call someone who's not part of your system, then you can use their phone number directly or they need to have an Alexa unit and they give you permission to make phone calls directly to it. So let me give you an example of the command. Call Tech Steve. Calling Tech Steve's Alexa devices. And you can see it's ringing right here and the screen is starting to pull up on the phone. So if I hit accept right here, then the video pops up. So now you can see that I'm on this device right there. In order to end the call, you can touch the screen and you can get some controls over here, like you can mute it. You also can turn the video off or you can end it. Just like that. Or you can say Alexa end call. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little audio test. I will tell you that it sounds pretty good, but when you hear the audio, it's not gonna have as much bass as what you're about to hear, but it gives you an idea if it can handle the bass. And I will tell you the trouble and everything sounds really good on this one. So uh, let's go listen to the demo. So overall, I think it sounds pretty good for being like a little clock radio. So uh, now I'm gonna let you guys see what it can do with different voice commands. So I have the screen that you can see and you can see how it interacts versus a standard echo unit. Also, uh, I wanna tell you guys that I'm gonna mute the call word that uh, triggers all your devices. 
So you might see a pop-up from time to time. So uh, let's go for it. Show my photos. Here are some of your photos. Show me pictures of cats. Here's what I found online. Show me trailer for the movie Top Gun. I feel the need, the need for speed. This February. Show me movie show times. Here are five movies playing near San Diego today. Let me know which one you'd like, or ask me to show more. Show me the weekend forecast. Here's the weather for San Diego for the weekend. Play my video flash briefing on NPR. Let's add local news to today's stories. Please tell me your zip code. Live from NPR News, I'm Jack Spear. Congressional leaders say they are close. Set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Play the song of the day. This is Song A Day from Spotify. Baby Yoda, baby, baby Yoda, baby Yoda. Set bass to four. Set treble to six. Wake me up at 8 a.m. Alarm set for 8 a.m. tomorrow. Roll a die. Five. Flip a coin. You got tails. Pick a number between 1 and 50. Your random number between 1 and 50 is 39. What's the definition of automobile? As a noun, automobile is usually defined as a passenger vehicle designed for operation on ordinary roads and typically having four wheels and a gasoline or diesel internal combustion engine. Spell comprehensive. Comprehensive is spelled C-O-M-P-R-E-H-E-N S I V E. What's the score on the last Dallas Cowboys game? Last Sunday, December 13th, the Cowboys defeated the Bengals 30 to 7 at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will tell you that I have one or two more videos to make, and then I have a ton of TV videos that I'm gonna get back on. But on my channel, I'm trying to show that I like to, you know, bring in all kind of different products but TVs is one of my favorites to do. So also I was gonna tell you that all those voice commands are great that you can use on this unit, but I made a video on an Amazon Echo unit that has 34 minutes worth of content. So if you guys wanna learn just about every feature you can do with the Amazon Echo Show or the Echo, I'll leave a link down below in the comments. So if you guys uh, have any questions, be sure to ask. Thanks a lot for watching. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.